All right, so this is a quick video on installing the uh, larger clock hands. Um, these are all the parts that you should have. Uh, these are brown. I know you probably have the black. Uh, they've been painted black or, or come out of the box black. They contrast better, uh, trust me, than brown on brown. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this little cap. Just screw it, unscrew it, uh, just counterclockwise. That's it. We don't need that little cap anymore. Uh, just give it a heave. Uh, it's there just to, for, for shipping purposes. Um, I have a smaller clock here, but the process is the same. So we're going to just put the clock over the mechanism itself. Now, some people like to put this little rubber washer on the back um, and just the screw on top. That's fine. Um, if you want to put this rubber washer and the uh, little... Uh, the rubber and the washer on the back, that's fine too. I like to put it on the front because I, I, it allows me to sort of tighten this screw here a little bit further and tighter. And basically we just want to make it hand tight. Um, you know, we don't want it too loose. We don't want that little clock mechanism flapping around in there, but we don't need it to use a tool to um, get that tight. So that's nice and tight there. That's not going to go anywhere. And then uh, it's simple, easy. Um, the small or shorter hand first, and um, this side uh, down, and just pops into the post, and the seat's firmly in there. You don't, you don't need again any tool. It's all hand, um, hand oriented. You might have to like lift this up just a little bit. Um, you know, when I put it in there, it was sort of touching that wood, so I just lifted it up. That's all I got to do. And then this is the only tricky part. This is a. a, a uh, basically uh, screw in so we're just going to put that on the post itself and turn it get the soda can out of the way turn it clockwise until those hands are nice and tight against the post itself so we're nice and tight here again we don't need to overturn it um, it's freestanding free floating and then uh, insert the battery and then use the spinning wheel on the back to set the time um, and then you'll notice that this hand will move uh, very gently um, you know uh, around the clock hand itself so any questions let me know